Hello and welcome to Football Legend of the Day. Right. Today is September 2nd and it has some great iconic players born today. Let's have a look at them. Javi Martinez. The first legend of the list is the current Bayern number 8 Javi Martinez. He is one of the few legends who have won the treble two times. He also won the World Cup with Spain in 2010 and the Euros in 2012. He started his career at Atletico Bilbao in 2006 as an 18-year-old. He played as a defensive midfielder and has 251 appearances in six seasons with Atletico Bilbao. He finished the runner-up in the Europa League finals in 2011-12 season. In 2012, Bayern paid the buyout clause of 40 million in his contract and thus he became the transfer record in a 50-year history of Bundesliga. He played a major role in breaking the tiki-taka style of Barcelona which involved his former teammates Xavi and Iniesta in the midfield in Bayern's 4-0 trashing of Barcelona in the Champions League. At Bayern, he won 8 consecutive Bundesliga titles. Other trophies include 5 DFB Pokal titles, Super Cups and Club World Cups. Alexander Pato Pato is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as a forward. He is currently a free agent having most recently played for Sao Paulo. Pato began his career as a youth player for International in 2000. Making his debut in 2006 at the age of 16, he went on to score 12 goals in 27 appearances and helping them win the 2006 FIFA Club World Cup. Pato broke, bro, Pato broke Pele's long-standing record of becoming the youngest ever player to score in a FIFA organized competition at the age of 17 years and 102 days. In August 2007, he signed for the Italian side Milan. In 2009, he scored 18 goals in 42 matches in all competition, including two second-half goals in a 3-2 win against Real Madrid at Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, which earned him both the Golden Ball and Serie A Young Footballer of the Year award. During the 2010-11 season, he helped Milan win the Serie A, where he was a club's joint top scorer with 14 goals in 25 games. On 13 September 2011, in a Champions League group stay match against Barcelona, Pato scored the fifth fastest goal in the competition history 20 second, 24 seconds after kickoff. Following injuries and poor form, he joined Corinthians in 2013 and later Sao Paulo. He was sent on loans to Chelsea, Villarreal, and China. Currently, he's back at Sao Paulo. Carlos Valrama. Carlos Valrama is a creative playmaker who was regarded as the greatest Colombian footballer of all time. His distinct hairstyle as well as his precise passing and technical skill made him one of the South America's most recognizable footballers in the late 1980s and early 1990s. He won the South American Footballer of the Year in 1987 and 1993 and in 1999. He was named in the top 100 players of the 20th century by World Soccer Organization. Valderrama was a member of the Colombian national football team from 1985 until 1998. He represented Colombia in 111 international matches and scoring 11 times, making him the most capped player in the country's history. He played a major role during the golden era of Colombian football in 1990s, representing his national side in three FIFA World Cups and five Copa America tournaments. He played mostly in the Colombian league. In 1988, he moved to the French side Montpellier. His passing ability saw him become club's most creative force and he played a decisive role in his side winning the Copa de France in 1990. In 1991, he remained in Europe and joined the Spanish side Real Valladolid for a season. Valderrama was one of the marquee players who joined the inaugural season of MLS in 1996 and in 2000, Valderrama scored the only 20-plus assist season in MLS history, ending the season with 26. He is the fourth highest leader in assists in MLS history with 114. He retired in 2002. Frederic Canute Frederic Canute is a French striker who has played for a number of clubs like Lyon, West Ham, Tottenham and Sevilla. Unable to get a starting place behind Robbie Keane and Jermaine Defoe, he joined Sevilla in 2005 where he played for seven years. Canute became an iconic figure at the Ramon Sanchez Pizuin Stadium, ending 136 goals in 290 matches and he helped the club win two UEFA Cups, one UEFA Super Cup, two Copa del Rey and one Spanish Super Cup. In 2012, he left to play in China. In 2004, he changed his nationality to Mali and was the top scorer in the African Nations Cup. 
He won the African Footballer of the Year in 2007. Marek Mintal. Marek Mintal was a Slovakian footballer. He started football in a Slovakian club, MSK Zilina, with whom he won back-to-back -back Slovakian championship in 2002 and 2003. He was the top scorer in both seasons. He joined the German club Nuremberg, helping them win the second division with his 18 goals. After getting promotion, he scored an impressive 24-goal campaign in his first season in the Bundesliga top flight, which earned him the nickname the Stell Bomber Sniper or the Phantom. He won the DFB Pokal Cup in 2007. Savo Milosevic Savo Milosevic is a Serbian striker who has played in a number of clubs such as Aston Villa, Real Zaragoza, Parma, Celta Vigo, Espanyol and Osasuna. Over the course of his 16 years professional playing career, Milosevic scored nearly 300 official goals in just 660 appearances. At international level, Milosevic played for the national team of Yugoslavia, later renamed as Serbia, winning over 100 caps. Milosevic appeared in two World Cups and one European Championship, at which he won the Golden Boot in the Euro 2000. Now, as a manager of his first club, Partizan, he won the Serbian League in 2019. Joey Barton Joey Barton was an English midfielder who has 269 appearances in the Premier League, including 130 for Manchester City. He has also played for Newcastle, QPR, Burnley and Rangers. He is most famous for his violent and aggressive playing style. He is considered as one of the most dirtiest players and is also well known for his violent conduct and behavior off the field. He is currently the manager of Fleetwood Town. Emiliano Martinez Emiliano Martinez is one of the current footballers who was born on September 2nd. The Argentine footballer is currently the goalkeeper for Arsenal. He joined Arsenal in 2012 and was constantly sent on loans for seven years. He was always considered behind Chesney, Ospina, Czech and Leno. This season, he made it into the first team after Leno was injured and won an FA Cup with Arsenal after a long, patient and emotional career. Bonus Bill Shankly Bill Shankly OBE, who is considered as the greatest Liverpool coach in the history, along with Bob Paisley, was born on September 2nd. Shankly brought success to Liverpool, gaining promotion to the first division and winning three First League Championship, two FA Cup and the UEFA Cup. He laid the foundation on which his successors Bob Paisley and Joe Fagan were able to build by winning seven league titles and four European Cups in 10 seasons after Shankly retired in 1974. He received the British Order of Merit in 1974. He was the first person in the English Football Hall of Fame in 2002. He is well known for his good relationship with his fans. He was the person responsible for You Will Never Walk Alone anthem in Anfield. And he also brought This Is Anfield sign in the Liverpool Tunnel. He died in 1981. In 1982, a 15-foot Shankly Gate was built in front of the Anfield Road Stand. In 1997, a seven-foot statue of Bill Shankly was made in front of Anfield. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please subscribe and support the channel. And see you again in the next episode. Thank you.